Hey guys, McReeps here and welcome back to the season finale of The Walking Dead Season 2. This is part 2. In the last episode, we followed Arvo, we brought him along, done a little bit of bandage changing for Kenny. Like, the last episode was, apart from the start, where it's just full of craziness, like always, um, it's been a pretty mellow episode. It's been getting to know more characters, found out it was Luke's birthday, found out Kenny doesn't want me drinking the rum. Um, yeah, now we're just going to make sure everybody's down. Alright, we found this abandoned power station. We've pulled up here. There's going to be another couple of those. we don't need to worry about being electrocuted. Uh, to get to this place that Arvo is hiding, or where Arvo is staying. We'll check out all this stuff. TV. Feels like forever since we had electricity. So how did you find the channel? Is this the first time you've watched the, the season? If it is, I highly recommend going down into the description, taking a look at the playlist for The Walking Dead. It's not only season two, it does start from season one. Uh, let's see if we can sneak any a little bit of room. Come on, Kenny, just a sip. Ah? Huh? Let's find out what's going on with Kenny. There, there, little guy. Shh. Shh, I got you. I got you. Hey. Oh, hey, Clem. Just, uh, needed some air. Kenny, there's air everywhere. Have this Sorry for, for how I acted back there after Sarita was. I just. I, I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry. I mean, you did what you could. You tried to help, and I blamed you for it. I'm so, so sorry. You don't have anything to apologize for. I know you didn't mean it. Thanks. I guess you'd react the same if it was boy. your loved one. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there a whole lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him. From my family. But I'd give anything for one more second with them. To play catch with Doug. To touch Katja's face. Anything in the world. I really liked Katja. She was one of the nicest people I've ever met. She had a big heart. To get it broken like that it was too much for her. It should have been too much for me. You had to leave those to feel with him. He's gonna get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. I can handle watch on my own. You should come too. I don't know. Come on. It'll be good for everyone. Yes. yes. Okay. Come on, Kenny. Let's go convince Jane, get her over by the fire, and then we'll go convince Iron Man. Sit down. Upsess. They expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. It's probably been a while for everyone. We just want you to feel welcome. It's warm over by the fire. What is it? It's rum. Oh, she likes the rum. That cheeky little smile. I don't know. It, it might be awkward. I wasn't expecting to... 
you know, be around. It doesn't have to be. We're all adults here. Are we now? You know what I mean. Mature or whatever. I wish it was that easy. It is. People just love making it harder than it has to be. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? Well, saying that's really good. Have you with had alcohol? Any? Want a sip? It's okay. It just might burn a little. You'll feel it in your nose. No thanks. I'm trying to cut back. <laughs> <laughs> you can be the designated driver then. Cool, but I don't know how to drive though. It's easier now. There aren't any cops. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? I was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals, and I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces all over the dining room. And I proceeded to eat what I thought was sugar candy. Uh-oh. It was not sugar candy. Sounds like a mess. Yeah, it was. Every couple years, someone would step on a piece of glass that didn't get swept up and get mad at me all over again. The problem with glass is, it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. They pumped my stomach. Got grounded for six months. Holy shit. I haven't thought about that in a long time. You need to be able to clean your house a little bit better. And then on glass a year a later. Deal's a deal. Here. You're all magic, by the way. Not one of you is taking the top off this ball. And not make it weird. Wanna sit here? No, that's... Um, I'm fine. Oh, yeah, okay. Wherever you like. Alright, just Robocop now. Arvo the servo legs. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. Jane, you don't have to justify that with a response. Hey. I find it's best to just get this stuff out in the open. Less drama. Well, that's fine. But I can confirm there was no time for kissing. Oh. All right, enough of that. Well, wait there. I wanted to go. Hey, you Clem. It's nice to hear people laughing. Yeah, it is. You just spend so much time trying to stay alive that you don't get a chance to enjoy living. Yeah. I wanted to go back to several lakes. Alcohol helps. <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. Come on. Let me get that bottle. We got someone else that might need some help. That's where Sounds I was like going. a waste of good rum. Come on, Kenny. He lost his sister today. And whose fault was that? That makes it even harder to deal with. Trust me. Kenny, please, don't let it ruin a nice night. I said my piece. I don't think that boy's a bad person. I just think good people do bad things sometimes. Yeah, you would. You catch his... They do it a lot more nowadays with the world being what it is. So, I think it's best Leave to... Leave me alone! Sorry, okay? My fault. I shouldn't have. Leave me alone! Uh. Arvo? It's okay. It's 
Okay. She's in a better place. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe it's best if we all get some rest. Who knows how long a walk we got tomorrow? Yeah. That's a good idea. I'll take first watch. Thank Again? you, Kenny. Really? I, uh... Don't mention it. You did good. It was nice while it lasted. Hmm. I wonder why it didn't walk over to the kid. Oh, we're heading to Cherno or Electro. All of the power lanes. You sure you're good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. If I, if I start to crap out, I'll let you know. Okay, will you do that? It's no trouble. How much further? Close. Very close. You've been saying that every time I ask. Please. Come. I'm really starting to think you're Kenny. full of shit. Kenny, look out! What the fuck? Ah! Ah! No way. out of nowhere that was real loud hopefully there aren't more of them yeah well let's move we don't want to be around to find out it's very close come we're not watching kenny dang no way there that piece of shit it's half built We're here for the supplies, not the house. It's warm. Fireplace. Very warm. I'd just like a place to sit, if I'm honest. Is there any other way to get there? Do we have to cross the lake? We should have stuck to the tree line. The fastest way between two things is a straight line. It's not far. Just be on the lookout. Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Mojniti. I'm saying an American asshole. It's okay. Walk. Ice. No shit ice. That's the problem. He's saying it's fine. I go first. I can be front. Maybe we shouldn't clump together. We just can't have too much weight. She's right. We need to spread out. Just to be safe. Less weight the better. Let the Rusky go first. Since he's so confident. It's okay. I definitely wouldn't be near them blue bits. Hey, hey, hey! Don't walk with save me. Just trying to keep a safe distance. Uh -uh. We're okay. Don't worry. Look, get away from me. Uh uh. We got some walkers behind us. It's only a few of them. We should be all right. Let's just get to the house. Hey, stay with us. Fuck. That's too less to deal with. Just stay spread out and we'll be fine. Hey! Motherfucker! Shit! He's gonna kill him! <sighs> Kenny! Get back here, you piece of shit! I should let you drown, you piece of shit! No! Kenny! Don't run! Well, they made it. Uh 
Oh, balls. Don't come over here. Lay you down. Make it. It's, it's fine. Lay down. You sure? Yeah. You got walkers on the way. Let me it's help too you. Too thin for both of us. I just, I just gotta be careful. Oh! No, no! Stop! Stop! I'm fine. I'm fine. No, you're not. I just gotta pull myself out. You need help, Luke. The ice is too thin. I got it. Spread yourself you out. Help. No. Clam, go. Go help no, him. No, Clam, Clam, do not. Just go back for him. You're lied. You Stop do telling it. her that. Clem, look at me. Pull out your gun and shoot those damn walkers, okay? Just give me a little time. Yeah. Clem, you can make it, but you need to go. No. Now. Clem, it's too dangerous. Thanks. Thanks. I'll be on a sec. Just, just keep shooting. You're not gonna make I, it. He will I'm make it. I just Hold need on, him. I got you. Rest a sec. Uh, keep him off us, Clem. No, no, it's too much. Too Shut much up. Pain. Shut the fuck up. Bonnie, get the fuck away. I got you. Oh, we're losing Bonnie and Luke. The right below is. Go down like that. Oh look, come on, don't be dead, don't be dead. Please tell me you're just having a drink at the lake. Fuck. It's okay, I got you. No. I got you. Come on, come on. Come on, you're gonna be okay. Go to the house. We need a fire. Oh fuck, she's gonna fucking freeze to death. Oh man. This game. How the fuck did that happen? There's a fireplace. Jesus Christ. Bonnie, why did you do that? Warm. They're gonna freeze to death. He's just gone. Luke's fucking gone. We should have gone around. God damn it. We should have just fucking gone around. I it's my fault. I, sh I should have stayed with him. I said I started to go. There wasn't nothing any of us could do. You could have. You could have helped him. Well, Don't you listen to her, Clem. This ain't on you. You fucked you up, Bonnie. Of a bitch. This is your fucking fault. Kenny! No, man! To what? It's nobody's damn fault. I'm freezing. Can we just get a fire started? Look at this place. Just a stack of fucking toothpicks. Bet those magical supplies are bullshit too. What? No speaking of English? Fuck you. You fucking commie piece of shit. Fuck, Teddy. Fuck you. You mother. <laughs> Fuck, fuck, uh, you. Uh, oh, oh, Kenny. Just stop. You did deserve a little bit of a beating. What? Lose your taste for this sort of thing? What did you do to him? There's another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is going to help How is beating a kid to death going to help anyone? This is your fault, and you damn well know it. Whose fault? 
This is your fault, Bonnie. I'm tying him up. Fine. Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? He's hurt real bad. Mike! Yeah. Yeah, okay. You got a light? He didn't have to be a dick about it, did he? I thought I had matches. Bonnie never went back to look. Like if we just covered him, he could have came out. Wow, we went from peaceful night to in the shit house in twenty minutes. Let me take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. The fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. An empty can of empty. You okay? He's gone. I've lost people before, but it just hasn't felt this this shitty in a while. He cared about you too, Jane. I know he did. God damn I'll it. make it feel better. you did I'm gonna find something to clean that up thank you thank you I can't take this shit anymore come on mate feeling better yeah hell of a day but we gotta get moving if you're feeling up to it I could use a hand out back with this truck this house ain't worth a crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. With a little luck, we can get one fixed up. Be out of here by nightfall. Just give me a minute. I'll wait for you out back. Oh. I'll watch him. What's up with the truck, Kenny? Looks all right. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? Well, we didn't talk about you. Really? Really, Kenny. You need to get this stick out your arse, Kenny. What's what wrong happened? with you? It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, all right? Come on, let's see if the truck's gonna go. My daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean son bitch, but he taught me respect. A girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. I like her. Just give her some time. 
Maybe you're right. Hell, I didn't know what to make of Lee at first. Of course, he helped me in mine more times than I can remember. Jane helped us back on the road. Jane saved right. us a couple of things. Give it a turn. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running, and then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's got to be out there. I believe Those that's rumors on. can't all be bunk. I mean, hell, there's got to be something out here other than snow and goddamn Euro trash. Sounds good to me. We're gonna make it, Clem. I know it. All right, turn it again. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! <sighs> Kenny, are you okay? We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. We can do it, Kenny. We Don't worry. Get this thing to start. It will. Just gonna try warming up breaches. the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl. Stop talking mad shit about. Who's that sitting on the stairs? Was that Mike or Bonnie? Let's see if we can talk to him. Kenny. Just a battery you need, Kenny. Need any help? I'm fine. Go check on AJ. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a battery in this big dog. That's got the fuel. Wish they'd finished this place. Busted. Didn't know you smoked, Bonnie. You know they're bad for you. What do you want? I just wanted to see how you were. <sighs> how do you think? It must be nice being a pretty little girl. No one ever expects you to do a damn thing. Whoa, hold on a minute. You expect me to do everything. You and I both know you had a chance to save Luke. You and I both know what happened back there. Yeah, you killed him. I got nothing more to say to you. Oh, it's like that. Do we bring up the past when you captured us and took us back to Carver? Do we go down that road, Bonnie? People in glass houses, bitch. Who's outside? I've seen somebody at the window. I don't know. Who's Jane? What's up, Jane? Hey. Mike and Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. Seen that look before. Son of a bitch. Oh, damn it. He'll be fine. Clem, he beat that boy within an inch of his life. We are way past fine. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy, too. Once. Probably had a nice job and a nice, pretty wife. Then all this happened. One day, he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. If he's wrong, we've known each other or a ever wrong, I'll put a bullet. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth.
I think it needs food or something. Oh, that's cute. Come on, little man. Seems like you've done that before. Three times now. I'm a pro. You want to try? No way. It's going to puke. Clem, no. Hold it like this. Hey. Hi. <laughs> My name's Jane. Yeah. I think it's going to puke. It's not going to puke. It's probably going to puke. It puked. It puked. <laughs> gross. You cover yourself in zombie guts, but that's gross. Come on, Jane. There we go, melting that hard no exterior. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. They had to try, right? No. Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turn and rip the neck right out of this old lady. Oh my god. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. Holy shit. Good job, working. Kenny. It works? What I tell you. So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? Not much. We need to find a place for the baby. Yeah, someplace warm. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're kind of freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? What the fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. We came this far. We're not going back. I'm with Kenny. We should head north. Goddamn right. Clem. My friend Krista. She told me about Wellington a long time ago, Jane. It's out there. Look, I don't, don't give a shit about what fun. you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're and just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He could die. Better him than another one of us. We should ask him what he wants. There's a concept. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You ever think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Mm-hmm. Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. God damn it! Just walk away from us. Oh, that kind of released all the tension. Come on, Kenny, get your ass out of the car. You better talk some sense into him for his sake. Get 
It's me. Talk to me like that. Sorry, just give me a second. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. <laughs> I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. He's turned out to be a real disappointment. They're scared of you, Kenny. Well, if their big plan is to wander around in the woods, they ought to be scared of more than me. Did you hear me? We're all scared. Oh, they're scared of you, Kenny. Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. We owe it to them to see this done. This is different. How? Where are we going to find baby formula? I don't know, but sitting around here ain't a way. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. Yeah, me too. What'd you think he'd say? He'd beat the show, you. I think he'd tell me to try to keep the group together and to keep my hair short. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew and what people like Jane won't ever understand. Get off Jane's back. She's done nothing to you. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now. Grown up. I felt pride. A pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. It's the only chance that child has. Yeah, but we can't do it alone. We need the others. And that's why I gotta be able to count on you, Clem. We gotta convince him. You and me. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on. Let's get some sleep. Cause we gotta be ready. And that seems like a pretty good place to end this episode. So that's exactly what we'll do. We'll end it there. We'll go for a little snooze. We'll see what happens. Is Kenny losing it? I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I still think that he's trying to help the group. The rest of the group are kind of getting scared of him. Going into a carver situation. We can't let that happen. If Kenny loses it too much, and I have to put a bullet in him, I don't know if I can. It's Kenny. I'll find out in the next episode what happens, guys. Really, really loving the build-up. There's got to be a, a huge thing towards the end. So, come back next time to find out what that is. See ya.